We have been warned that a devastating food crisis would hit the entire planet sooner rather than later. But most of us didn't imagine things would actually escalate so quickly. The global food crisis we were told to prepare for is already upon us, and it is reaching apocalyptic proportions as problems continue to pile up. Millions of people that are already facing hunger will be pushed to the brink of starvation in the coming months. Even those who have been insulated from such problems up until this point are likely to experience food insecurity this year as shortages become far more extensive than anticipated. Farmers, industry executives, and global authorities are saying that there is not going to be enough food for everyone this year, 2022. And if all of that seems too hard to believe, hopefully you'll change your mind and start preparing after you watch this video. Today, we have compiled some of the most alarming facts, estimates, and predictions about the challenges we are all going to face this year. But before moving on, please support us by leaving a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel to keep updated with the most important news. We are at the very early stages of a modern tragedy that will result in a humanitarian crisis that is unlike anything we've ever seen. This is not a drill. The food crisis that is now unfolding all over the world is developing so rapidly that global leaders are getting extremely fearful about the short-term future of humanity. In recent weeks, a number of authorities, industry executives, and farmers came forward to warn about the severity of the situation. On Saturday, the CEO of Crew Intelligence told the UN Security Council that the world will enter a critical phase in less than three months as food supplies continue to get tighter and tighter. Sarah Menker alerted that the planet only has 10 weeks worth of wheat left. 10 weeks to deal with the crisis before it reaches catastrophic levels. This is seismic, Menker said. Even if the conflict between Russia and Ukraine were to end tomorrow, our food security problem is not going away anytime soon without concerted action, Menka stressed. Adding that, without aggressive global actions, we stand the risk of an extraordinary amount of human suffering and economic damage. Similar warnings are coming from all over the globe. In fact, a top aide to Vladimir Putin named Maxim Oreshkin admitted that a worldwide famine is expected to burst closer to autumn. During an official statement, Oreshkin said that given the current conditions, a global famine will occur closer to autumn. By the end of this year, it will have spread all over the world, he predicted, noting that Russia should not suffer, but be fully provided with food. The statement led Italian Leak Party leader Matteo Salvini to warn that if the Russian aggression on Ukraine is not brought to a conclusion by the end of this month, chronic food shortages will cause an immigration wave that will displace 20 million people this year. Significant hunger is expected on the African continent which will be a humanitarian, then a social, and finally, an Italian problem, says Salvini. Without peace, there will be famine in the autumn, and 20 million Africans will be ready to go, he added. On the other side of the conflict, President Vladimir Zelensky is sounding the alarm about the impact of the Ukraine crisis on the rest of the world. Russia has blocked almost all ports and all maritime opportunities to export food, our grain, our barley, sunflower, and more, Zelensky said in an interview this weekend. There will be a crisis in the world, the second crisis after the energy one, which was provoked by Russia. Now it will create a food crisis if we do not unblock the routes for Ukraine and do not help the countries of Africa Europe and Asia, which need these food products, he continued. 
Along with Russia, Ukraine produces a substantial amount of the global food supply, including between 25% and 30% of the world's grain supply. And the shortages caused by the blockage of such essential exports are creating a global environment far worse than anything we witnessed since 2011. That's what the head of the UN World Food Program pointed out during the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland. David Beasley said that the world's food security conditions are now far worse than what was observed during the Arab Spring over a decade ago. He's particularly concerned about the disruptions keeping Ukraine's exports out of the reach of its commercial partners. Just when you think the world food crisis couldn't get any worse, well, over a year ago, you had Ethiopia and Afghanistan, and now we have the breadbasket of the world. Because of this crisis, we're taking food from the hungry to give to the starving, Beasley revealed. What happens when you take a nation like Ukraine that normally feeds 400 million people and sideline that? It's devastating to global food security, he emphasized. We are all going to be affected by this tragedy. But we have to remind ourselves that we were already heading towards a historic global food crisis way before the conflict in Ukraine erupted. And one of the main factors fueling this disaster is the fact that fertilizers are in short supply everywhere in the world and prices are surging to unprecedented highs. Russia alone normally accounts for approximately 20% of all global nitrogen fertilizer exports. In fact, according to the energy researcher Vaclav Smil, two-fifths of humanity, or more than three billion people, are alive today because of nitrogen fertilizer, the main ingredient in the green revolution that supercharged the agricultural sector back in the 1960s. The chemical fertilizer trifecta of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium has tripled global grain production and enabled the greatest human population growth the planet has ever seen. But massive fertilizer shortages are now leaving farmers, fertilizer companies, and governments around the globe scrambling to avert a seemingly inevitable tumble in crop yields. I'm not sure it's possible anymore to avoid a food crisis, warned World Farmers Organization President Theo Diego. The question is how wide and deep it will be. Most importantly, farmers need peace, and peace needs farmers. If you speak to a farmer in North America or Oceania, the main talk is fertilizers, specifically the price and availability of fertilizers, Diego continued. Prices are more or less 78% higher than average in 2021, and this is cracking up the production side of agriculture. In many regions, farmers simply can't afford to bring fertilizers to the farm, or even if they could, the fertilizers are not available to them. And it's not just fertilizers, but agrichemicals and fuel as well. This is a global crisis, and it requires a global response. In the United States, skyrocketing prices for fertilizer are adding an extraordinary amount of financial stress on millions of farmers. In a recent interview, Indiana farmer Rodney Rulon said he's truly horrified by how much more he has to pay this year. We're making big cuts to what we're spending on fertilizer this year, he said. It's $1,200 a ton for phosphorus and potassium. It was $450 last year. Nitrogen was $500 to $550 a ton last year. Now it's well over $1,000. You just took our biggest expense and doubled it. And while some farmers in the Western world can still afford to pay the higher prices, in poorer nations, millions of farmers are being forced to cut back on fertilizer and in some cases, abandon their crops altogether. Consequently, food production will be way down this year. Some of you may be tempted to think that hunger is an issue for the other side of the planet, but many wealthy nations are already being plagued by food shortages 
and soaring food prices. For example, one recent survey uncovered that approximately 25% of all Britons are already skipping meals. A quarter of Britons have resorted to skipping meals as inflationary pressures and a worsening food crisis conflate in what the Bank of England recently dubbed an apocalyptic outlook for consumers, says one recent report. The survey found that more than four in five people in the United Kingdom are worried about rising living costs and their ability to afford basic necessities like food and energy over the coming months. Roughly 89% of the respondents said they were concerned about how the cost of living crisis would affect the country as a whole over the next six months. One major British caterer said in another report that schools were now facing difficult decisions as to whether to reduce meal sizes or use lower quality ingredients amid surging prices. Meanwhile, in America, the nationwide shortage of groceries and the persistent surge in prices are worrying consumers. According to Morning Consult's latest supply chain and inflation report, six in ten consumers said they had difficulty finding specific items last month. Nearly half of all consumers, about 49%, said they are very concerned with meat price increases with produce and dairy following at 40 and 39 percent, respectively. Sadly, this is just the tip of the iceberg. The real problem will be the food that is not grown and the food that is not harvested this year. Soon, winter wheat will be harvested in the U.S., and according to Bloomberg data, thanks to the historic drought in the western half of the country, it's being projected that the total amount harvested will be the smallest in almost 60 years. Some farmers already are writing off losses from parched grains. The U.S. Department of Agriculture expects lower yields in Kansas, the top growing state for hard red winter wheat, a staple relied on for bread flour. The shortfall is seen by USDA as pushing national production to the smallest since 1963, Bloomberg reported. Now, we have to consider that back in 1963, the population of the United States was 189 million. Today, the population of the United States is 329 million. This is a very challenging year with not a lot of good news, noted crop scout Ramulo Lolato, a wheat specialist at Kansas State University. He pointed out that minimal rainfall and freezing temperatures in early April could have damaged crop yields. Aaron Harris, vice president of research and operations for Kansas Wheat, said it's been a weather roller coaster across the Midwest. Now, the mega drought is consuming large swathes of farmland. On top of everything else, soaring energy prices are adding fuel to the fire. Just yesterday, the average price of a gallon of gasoline reached another all-time record high. By now, the median gas price is above $4 in all 50 states and the new nationwide average just hit $4.60 per gallon. That is the highest ever recorded by the American Automobile Association's gas price tracker. That's about 51% higher than it was at the same time last year. Coastal states appear to be getting hit the hardest. California hit a new state's wide average of approximately $6 a gallon. Some local gas stations in the state, consumers were being charged $7.29 a gallon. As things get worse and worse, Americans are becoming increasingly restless, and recent numbers are illustrating their growing frustration. A new CBS YouGov survey discovered that only 6% of Americans believe that things are going well in this country, whereas a majority of about 41% have described current conditions as very bad. Well, six months from now, 
when global food supplies get much tighter than they are at the moment, restlessness and frustration will explode in our country. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the hungry years. This crisis is so serious that the vast majority of us have absolutely no frame of reference for what is about to happen. A perfect storm is already upon us, and the most worrying part of it all is that most of us remain completely and utterly unprepared for it. Thank you very much for watching this video. Put your comment below. If you found this video informative, we strongly recommend you read Seven Year Apocalypse, the latest book by the economist and financial expert Michael Snyder. In the meantime, feel free to share this message with friends and family and turn on that notification bell to always keep updated with our latest notifications.